Okay people, Jacquel here and welcome to Iwat City. I want Asian theme. And we're going to keep saying that until we get one. <laughs> okay, so Colossal Order released a big patch. It's probably the last the last patch of the year which includes both performance improvements and gameplay gameplay fixes. So yeah, it's a big one. It's a big one. I'm only going to focus on two things because there are a lot of details here and a lot of it is not in English, so I'm only going to focus on the two things that I understand um which is related to performance and gameplay. There are also two new maps and maybe I'll explore that in another video and do a build based on the two maps. Apparently one of the maps does not have rain, which is weird. Why can't we just turn rain on and off on our current games? I don't know why. It's a bit weird to be honest. And the other map is a flat map. It's like they're making fun of the fact that the game can't handle terrain, different terrains. So they just, they just made a a flat map <laughs> but yeah maybe it'll be interesting to try and build on the flat map but as for the future i guess now let's get to the to the big one so apparently it says here gameplay improve lane changing behavior for vehicles okay now this i think is vital because it's a bit janky the the traffic looks a bit janky and i've opened up my game here and i've gone through all of the problematic intersections and i got to say i don't know i don't know i don't s if there's any change it's minor i still don't see a big change in terms of lane changing behavior i even you know what i'm going to change my mind here that was recorded on the first look but after taking a second look at the traffic you know what i think there has been a change in behavior i mean there are some assholes who still drive reckless i'm looking at you right now but generally there has been i think there has been an improvement there's not a lot of last minute merging or switching lanes that just looks nasty anymore especially from the third lane to the left lane right i think there's been an improvement and even if you check my traffic flow the video before this where i tried to fix traffic it, it was about 50 something percent and now it's risen up to 60 something percent so that may be the lane changing behavior doing it it's thing okay nice so i think you know what i changed my mind i think there has been a change okay after se a second look just look at this just look at this right here. It looks it look it looks okay, right? I mean there's some assholes, right? Asshole drivers, that's fine. But generally it looks okay. Anyway, let's move on to the second thing here, which is performance. So I'm going to read up the whole thing. Number one, added LODs for characters and selected assets. Optimize geometry layout for all assets. That's not in English because I don't understand. That decrease virtual texturing pressure with assets that don't use emissive maps. Again, this is not in English. I don't understand this sentence. Disable VSync for default settings. I don't use VSync anyway. You shouldn't. Disable volumetric lighting calculations where it was mostly invisible. I have no idea what, what volumetric lighting is, but I turn it off because someone in Reddit told me to. Okay. I googled best performance and someone in Reddit just told everyone to turn this off. And since turning it off, the performance of the game has been better. So maybe, I don't know if, if I turn it on, there might be improvements in the performance, right? But I think the most important thing here is added LODs for characters because people have been accusing um, the game of not optimizing the sims, right? So I'm happy to say I've noticed some minor improvements in the performance, I think, because up to now, I just haven't been recording build. Um, usually I would stream my build 
When I'm building in CS2, I would stream to a secret channel just so I have a record of it. And I haven't been able to do that because the performance, there's some performance issues, but now I can, I can kind of do that. Oh yeah. And by the way, I'm working on a, uh, a gaming laptop. It's a good gaming laptop. It has Ryzen 9, RTX 3060 and 32 gigs of RAM. It's not the best, the, it's not the best specs you can get but it's decent right it's decent it's just a, 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 lap, a laptop for work and it's decent so and th these are kind of like my uh, graphic settings um i turn off a few things and when i'm recording cinematics i just blast everything high except for volumetric and there's another thing i forgot you can see it here my graphic settings and these are like my anti-aliasing settings, my shadow settings. I turn this terrain whatever setting off. And these are all based on a Reddit thread, okay? And I always, for cinematics, I always set it to 4K. And because the game looks like shit in HD, I'm gonna be honest, the anti-aliasing just suffers in HD. So I don't want, I don't want to ever play this game in HD, much less when I'm doing cinematics, right? But when I'm playing, I kind of dial a lot of these high things down to very low or low or medium so that I can build. And I even change the resolution to 2K, right? So yeah, but the thing is that there has been certain things that I couldn't do before this that I, I think I can do now. I, can, I could stream while I stream on the same computer, right? And I could stream while I'm playing. I can record while I'm playing, I think. Like right now I'm doing it, so I think it's possible. And when I'm like, just a few days ago, I couldn't work on the, this part where there's a lot of trees and it's not even a building, but there's just a lot of trees. And I was trying to work on a highway here. I couldn't do it without turning off streaming. So I couldn't re record the process of doing it, but now I think I can. And I do real, I do, I do kind of like, I can feel a bit of a difference when it comes to when I'm shooting all these cinematics, when I'm going around town, just browsing. I feel a, it's, 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 it's so, it's, it's not like a massive difference in performance, but I can feel it. So it's kind of like in between massive and small, something like that, right? So there is, there is a change in terms of performance, I think, in my opinion, okay? So there you go. That's what I, what I think of this patch so far. The rest of it, you can read it on Steam or on the forums, right? So, I mean, to cap it up, I would say I don't see any improvements in lane changing behavior, but I do, I can feel a bit of improvement in terms of performance, game performance, okay? This is subjective. So I wanna know you guys, if you've played the game before or after the patch, I want to know if you guys can feel any change at all. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Peace.